All right, we got a new project today. We've got a Mini Coda Endura, Endura Max 55 foot pound of thrust. And also, I have another one over in the corner. It's a Mini Coda, it's an Endurance C2, but they're basically the same. They're both 55 pounds of thrust. And a friend gave them to me both. He says they're a little tired. Well, they both work. This one here is missing a prop, the other one has a prop. Um, but they just don't seem like they have any oomph. So we're going to go ahead and take the motors apart and see if they just need brushes or the armature cleaned up and we can reuse the brushes or the bearings are bad. Um, I know we, this guy had them on a pontoon boat because where he has his pontoon boat, they're not allowed to run gasoline engines. So basically what he would do is he would buy one, use it so it wouldn't be working real well, and then buy another one, just throw these underneath his deck. So. He gave them to me, and I was going to try one of them on my sailboat to tool around in. So let's uh, get it up in the bench, turned around, and we'll take a see what's inside. All right, so before we start, what I always recommend doing is I've got my white marker, and I'm going to mark everything so I know the orientation of where everything goes back together. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to need to do this or not, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, dress that down a little bit of where that pin goes through so I won't have any issues later. As you can see, make sure I got it in here, there is a rubber o-ring here to keep the water out and it looks like there's a bunch of, looks like brush material stuck on this bolt. Might just be rust. So I see it already kind of started falling apart. Let's pull it out, and there's the armature. It doesn't look too terribly bad. That bearing doesn't feel too bad. Let's set that there for a second. And the brushes definitely look like they've gotten a little hot. So maybe we can just clean up everything and put it back together. There's the other gasket there that goes right there. It looks like it's still in one piece, which is good. Put that back up in there. Oh, I can't. There's a piece fill out. All right. Well, let me take and um, get the. Uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, looks like there's a Torx in there to get that piece out. So let me get that piece out, and we'll take a better look at the brushes. Okay, so I was looking at the brushes and looking at... This actually has a brass bushing, and then there's a seal on the other side. doesn't look like any water's leaked in. So I went ahead and grabbed the magnet and the armature here and was looking at it, and... It's got a broken magnet right there. So that could be dragging, causing it to run slow. This, uh, the bushing there feels okay. 
but it's got a broken magnet so this I don't even know if you can buy the magnets for it or this or this whole center section so let me get the uh, armature out and take a look all right so I got the armature taken out of the magnets and if you can see the dust on here it's that is from that broken piece of magnet that broken piece of magnet has been been rubbing on the uh, the armature and you can see right there how it's 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 worn actually worn a groove on it I don't know if I need the whole magnet so I might be able to just put it back together with that piece of magnet missing. So I'm going to clean everything back up and put it together and see if it works any better. I'll let you know in a little bit here. Okay, problem number two. I decided to pull the brush holder out to uh, clean the brushes and to reset it. And it's broken. So it's possible. It looked like it was all in there holding together okay. But maybe it wasn't um, holding it in the right position, not enough spring tension, uh, who knows. So I guess there's no sense in putting it back together until I get some parts for it. Um, I would try to glue this back together, but it doesn't look like you're going to be able to glue it. So I guess that does it for now until I order the parts. So got couple problems with this thing number one the magnet the magnet is broken the magnets broken inside and the brush holders hole is broken I think the armature is okay the bearings feel okay um, we'll clean the armature up we'll just go ahead and get a rebuild kit for it and once I get that I'll come back okay so I went ahead and I boxed up the other mini Coda Endura Max I'm going to order parts for it. So if I'm going to order parts for that, I might as well go ahead and take this one apart. This is a the second one in the batch. And as you can see, this one's got a little bit more wear, a little bit more rust. Looks like it's been used a little bit more. This is another Mini Coda Endurance C2. It's not a Max. But I do believe it still has a 5.8 motor on it. So let's go ahead and take this one apart real fast and see what type of parts it needs. So once again, I'm gonna mark everything so I know where everything goes. This one actually has a prop on it. So let's grab a 13 millimeter. Let's get this prop off of here. Grab a rag. Can you, can you see that? Got a little fuzzy wuzzies in there. Uh, obviously, something going on there. Let's see. There's the nut in the crump. Again. And yeah, I guess this is just... Uh, Crap picked up from using the motor. That'd be in the trash. All right. And then this motor, let's see, it's still kind of hard to spin over. All right, now this, these aren't, well, they're coming out, but not as easy as that other motor that other motor I did find out I do believe is a 2013 according to the serial number well looks like it's just going to come apart this way let's take a look in here and see what we got well at least this time the brushes aren't broken on this end Well, the 
the, the brushes are all free in that end. Looks pretty good. And then in this end here, the uh, armature looks pretty good. I'm going to have to probably, I don't know, this one here, the uh, end cap is stuck on and not coming off. So let me get a hammer and let me see if I can get this off. All right, it just took a couple light taps with the hammer to get it apart. And as you see, this one here is in uh, definitely a little corroded, worse shape than the other motor. And it's, oh. well, the magnets are not broken in this, in this motor. That's good, that's a good sign. This armature looks okay. You know, it all worked, it just was a little slow. So maybe probably just clean this up, put a new set of brushes in this and reseal this one and clean up that end cap and this one might be good to go. All right, let me order some parts for the other one and we'll put the other one back together. This one doesn't really look like it needs parts. We'll just clean everything up, clean the brushes up and put everything back together. So actually what I think I might do is I was looking at all the parts I have I think I might be able to make one good motor out of both of these. This motor is an older motor, and this piece here, the magnets are not broken. It's the same size as the Max motor. The Max motor has a broken magnet, okay? The armature here has less wear on it. So I and then this brush holder in this one isn't broken. So I think I'm gonna scavenge the brush holder out of this one, take the brushes out of the broken one, put the brushes out of the broken one since they're newer, since this is a 2013. Use that end cap, use that magnet, use that armature, use those brushes, and use the other one, because I think it has more speeds than this one does, and put it all back together and make one good one out of two. Save some money that way. So I took the brush holder out of the C2, and I took some sandpaper, and I wrapped it around a punch to get it roughly in the same shape as the brushes. And I'm just dressing the brushes down just to clean them up just a little bit. I don't want to change the curvature of them. I'm just cleaning them up a little bit. So now that those are clean, I'll put this brush holder back in the other case, other into the Endura Max one, which I took out. I'll have to go get it. All right. Well, I got the uh, the brushes all cleaned up. I have the springs hooked on the side to the spring. I mean, so the brushes will stay back. So once I put the armature in, then I'll push the springs back in to put tensions on the brushes when the armature is back in. So right now we got to plug this back in. The positive was at the top, but actually the bottom of the machine. So I have that indexed right. And then the negative went there. So now this just slides back in. Let me get my light out so I can see what's going on. And That brush just does not want to stay back there. Let me get it all bolted in first 
and then we'll worry about reloading that brush properly. This is nothing but a piece of plastic, possibly Bakelite, so I don't want to force it too much. Let me make sure that wire is nice and loose. Let me go get a hook tool and another screwdriver. Be right back. I went and got a nut driver so I can tighten that up. Let's see. So the positive lead seems to be nice and loose. Let's be sure this negative lead has got play in it, and it appears to have nice play in it too. So let's make sure that that's nice and snug. That's nice and snug. All right. So now we need to, I guess I can use the hook tool. And we'll... Use the hook tool to get that. Come on, stay. Come for a girl. All right, so that part's all ready. So now I still need to clean up the uh, clean up the armature. All right. So the next thing I did, I've got the gasket that goes in there. I put a little grease in three spots. So it'll stay in, in place. There we go. I took the uh, armature and cleaned it up, and then I took a wire brush. I don't have any really fine sandpaper, and I couldn't find any steel wool. It cleaned up really easy, and I wiped it all off nice and good. So now, well, I guess I can go ahead and take the nut back off. And so this is the armature off, this is the original armature off this motor that I'm reusing. It does have a, it does have a date on it of 2012, and this is supposed to be a 2013 motor. Okay, so then once you get the motor sitting in there like this, where did the hook tool go? Then you just take your hook tool and reach in, push on your spring, and I grab the gasket out. Great. That's not supposed to happen. All right. There. Gasket's back in. Do the lower spring. Lower spring's in. Hopefully this will just sit there nice. I get the magnet. So this is the Endura Max. The other one was the Endura C2. So I'm going to use the magnet off the Endura C2 on the Max because the magnets are not broken. 
So there's a front and a back, and obviously my mark is here, so this slides in there. So what you have to kind of do is the magnets want to pull that thing out, and it did exactly that. It pulled the whole armature out. There's real life for you. So I'm going to have to redo it again. Pull the spring down, push the spring up. I saw somebody else do this and they didn't have this problem, but obviously maybe they were faster, faster than me. And now the spring's completely on the wrong side. All right, so unfortunately, you can't put this thing. Let's see. Can you put it together first? I might be able to. Let's uh, let's see if I can do it this way. Go ahead and get that thing in there, and let me pull back on them push on the armature. I know I'm probably in the way of the camera. Sorry, guys. And push that spring in. Springs are in. Gasket still appears to be right. So now I need to, need to make sure that I have my other bolt holes lined up. Now I see a problem. The positive wire, the positive wire is in the way of my long bolts to hold everything together. So I have an idea. I'll be right back. So I've gone and got a long extension with a 13 millimeter socket on it. I'm just going to push that over top while I pull the magnets back out. So now my armature's still set. The springs are still on the brushes. So now I can go in there and try to figure out Well, I put the wire on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to completely take it back apart again. I don't know if you can see it or not. This positive wire should be on the inside here, like the black wire. It's in the way, so I'm going to have to take the brush holder completely back out. So let me take the brush holder back out, and I'll come back. Now I have the two wires running behind because I couldn't get, um, wasn't going to be able to get the bolt over here because the positive wire or the red wire is in the way. As you can see, the bolt's got to run right there. So I got it all ready to kind of try it again. Okay, so we're going to need the gasket. And of course, the gasket's getting kind of kind of dirty, but just wipe some of it off. There should be enough grease in there to hold this in. Right, just a rubber gasket. Right, so there's the rubber gasket. Back in. Brush, don't pull the gas out. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Except for. 
it sucked in on me. And get the bottom spring. Bottom spring's in. Gasket's still there. Slide that in. Get a little extra light here. And we'll rotate this around until it's in the center. Which I didn't mark that one in the center because this is a different one. All right, so there's that. All right. Now we're cooking. So here is here is the end cap that was originally on this motor. We're going to reuse it because it looks like the better of the two. The two O-rings are on that. We're going to go ahead and uh, slide that on there. That O-ring still looks like it's in pretty good shape. And I always like to put a little anti-seize on the threads. You know, I have this love-hate relationship with anti-seize. You know, as soon as you put it on a nut and a bolt, I don't care where you are, it'll get on you. That one started. That one started. Let's, let's see what it feels like. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, it does feel better. It's not dragging like it was. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, put the prop on this one. That fits good. Washer, the nut, and 13. Okay, that does feel pretty good. All right, let me um, let me move some stuff around and go get the jumper pack, and we'll give it a try. All right, I got the booster pack pit hooked up. I put my piece of wood in the vise. I got the prop on. Let's make sure that it's not going to hit anything. Tear up the prop is the only prop I have. It's off. Let's go forward ten. Looking pretty good. And there's a hundred. Oh man, that sounds so much better than it did before. Before, I guarantee you, I've got it at 40%. I do believe that's what the handle says. Nope, 60. There's a, it's kind of hard to read the handle here. There's off 10, 30 something 75 and 100 but the other side says 60 then 100 so i do believe that is i don't know what that is it's somewhere between 30 and 70 and that's how fast it was running before there's 100 percent it's moving quite a bit of air uh, the booster pack is still above 12 volts. I think this is a win. I was able to take two Mini Coda trolling motors, both 55 foot-pounds of thrust, and take and make one good one out of two. All right, this is definitely a win. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe. And... Um, if you like what you see, please hit the bell so you get my other videos. Thank you.